Hello everyone and welcome. This is the first installment of our Tangential EvoLine training video series focused on unboxing and setup. There are four main parts to the Tangential EvoLine rolling system. The setting gauge, which helps set up the tool, the thread rolls, which form the thread, the attachment, which holds those rolls, and the holder that interfaces with the machine. Here you can see a more interactive breakdown of these parts and how they assemble. The first step in setting up a tangential EvoLine system is to verify that the head is timed properly. To begin, ensure the spindle locking screws are loosened and rotate the spindle clockwise to close the head as much as possible. Then check that the drive lugs align with the markings on the body. Next we will lubricate and install the rolls. First remove the set screw which holds the shaft in place and slide out the shafts. Remove the rolls from their package. Note the rolls have numbers 1 and 2 that match them to a particular arm on the attachment. The rolls also have a tapered drive slot, ensuring there is only one assembly direction. Apply molybdenum disulfide grease to the rolls bore and the carbide shaft. Push the shaft all the way through with the flat positioned at the 12 o'clock position of the thin arm and fix it in place with its set screw. At this point, the rolls are ready to roll. Next, we will adjust the axial allowance of the rolls. First, loosen the set screws on the thick arm side of the head. Back them out almost completely before proceeding. Find the spanner adjusting tool to rotate the bushing clockwise until a slight resistance is felt on the rolls. Then, using this tool, open the bushing one to two marks anti-clockwise. Repeat this process on the other side of the attachment. This should give the thread roll approximately two to three thousandths of axial allowance. This axial allowance will change as the copper wear plate becomes worn. We recommend checking this weekly or monthly depending on usage. Now we want to make sure the rolling head and rolls are functioning properly. Make sure both rolls are turning freely. They should rotate simultaneously since they are linked together by the gear train. Now hold one of the rolls stationary and rotate the other inwards. Let go of the roll you rotated inwards and it should spring back outwards. If the rolls are ever blocked, or the roll does not spring back to its original position, there is likely a blockage somewhere which must be addressed before using the tool. Next, we will set the initial position of the rolls. Make sure the spindle locking screws are loosened. Then, using the largest hex wrench, turn the spindle anti-clockwise to separate the rolls. Insert the thin side of the setting gauge between the rolls and turn the spindle clockwise until the setting gauge is tight between the rolls. Lock the adjusting spindle with the clamping screws and remove the setting gauge. Now that the head is adjusted properly, remove the rolls so we can adjust the coolant supply nozzles. Make sure one nozzle from each arm is pointed between the rolls where the workpiece will be. The other nozzle from each arm should be pointed at the back of the roll to ensure it is being flushed and properly cooled. Reinstall the rolls and install the L fittings on each side of the head. The last thing we must adjust is the pendular play of the head. Adjacent to the main adjusting spindle are the opposing spring plungers. These must be unclamped before adjusting using the locking screws. Insert the back side of the setting gauge between the two plungers and hold the flat face of the gauge against the number one plunger block. Adjust each plunger to touch the gauge on each side and give approximately half a turn of pretension from each side. 
Lock the plungers with the locking screws and remove the setting gauge. In this video, we have summarized how to prepare a tangential system for installation into the processing machine. Ensuring the gears are timed, lubricating and installing the rolls, adjusting axial roll allowance, functional testing, setting the roll spacing, adjusting the coolant supply, and positioning the spring plungers. These prerequisite steps are essential in any successful tangential thread rolling process. In the next video, we will discuss blank preparation and clearance considerations.